Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS level physical geography course. Today we're going to look at the formation of rush mutones. The formation of a rush mutone. A rush mutone forms as a glacier moves over protruding bedrock in a valley. It erodes it as it does so. So this is basically what it looks like. Now the rock you see, I have to stress that it is not just typical deposited sediment which we call moraine in the valley. The rock, which is highlighted as brown, is actually attached to the bedrock itself and attached to the valley. That's why it's protruding because it's coming out of the valley. It's an irregularity. As a glacier moves over the rock, its weight applies a lot of pressure on the base because it's moving uphill. This causes the glacier's base to melt and it creates meltwater, as you can see from the diagram here. The meltwater allows the pressure to move um, and exert itself on the glacier, but now it um, pretty much allows the glacier to move up the melt um, water of the rush mutone because it lubricates it as it does so. The uphill part of the rock is now getting smoothed. After the glacier has moved uphill, the pressure decreases because it doesn't have to exert as much weight on the base because it's moving downhill. This causes the meltwater to freeze again because um, there's not much pressure and as a result it doesn't really have to form meltwater. So the frozen water, um, which was now water but is now turning into ice, has frozen itself to the back of the rock and it therefore plucks the rock as it moves forward and it leaves cracks in the back. So you can see that here. Now what we can tell is that the front bit has now been smoothed by the meltwater and the glacier moving over it. Now when the pressure is decreased, the glacier's meltwater has frozen and is now ripping, plucking at the back of the rock. So this is what it leaves in the end. We get this mound of smooth uphill travel and then as you come down there's these plucked and sharp jagged edges at the back of the rush mutone. Here are some questions on the formation of Roche Mutones. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video and hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on Valley Features. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to visit revisalevel.co.uk or the channel for more information. Good luck in your exams and I'll see you next time.